for those unaware, Pokemon Go has decided it's made too much money and it's time to ruin the game. Now, with all of the changes that came during the pandemic, it actually caused a huge uptick in player base, sales, everything. And they've decided that while the pandemic might still be going on, it's time to force you back outside, it's time to make it so rural players can't play their game again. Let's get into it. One of the delights of Pokemon Go is finding Pokemon in the real world, walking around discovering new places and meeting up with groups of friends to raid or battle together. At their core, all of Niantic's games are built around the ideas of exploration, exercise, and playing with friends. As we said last month, how we all played how we all play changed a lot in the last 15 months. With the onset of the global pandemic, we realized we had to change the model for all of our games. We could no longer take going outside and meet, meeting people for granted. We learned a lot. Thank you for coming along with us as we continue to navigate through this together. Sounds good, we're learning that, you know, you can't just assume everyone can go out and go to these big cities or these big Pokestops. It sounds good so far, but trust me, it gets bad. Today, as some parts of the world are moving forward to recovery, we're announcing new exploration bonuses will make it more rewarding to play outside or coming over the next several months, including bonuses for spinning stops, playing in-person raids, and getting in those steps. There's still a pandemic going on everywhere nowhere is to the point of everything is back 100 percent normal bonus introduced last year we plan to remove or change tested first in the u.s and new zealand followed by other countries and regions based on local conditions bonuses introduced last year that we are planning on keeping include a first catch of the day bonus go battle league and uh, trainer battle requirements and more we're only removing temporary bonuses introduced last year after Pokemon Go Fest 2021. Starting in the United States and New Zealand, we wanted to give you an advanced heads up of what's coming and our thinking behind it as we said last November. See, they keep using said because they're trying to justify it by saying, well, we already said this would happen. Here's the thing. They are a year of giving people things that made the game better. The game was flat out created in a better way during the pandemic. More people could play, people felt more engaged. Now, before the pandemic is even over, they're wanting to remove that. We've committed to doing this in a staggered way that makes sense for each place in the world to help people play safely as we return to outside world again. These changes are aimed at restoring the focus of Pokemon Go on movement and exploration in the real world. These changes will be introduced slowly and carefully to make it more exciting to explore the world around you and get diseases. New exploration bonuses were playing together in the real world. Starting at the end of July, the following exploration bonus will royal the trainers in the U.S. and New Zealand. The U.S. is still doing terrible with COVID. Certain areas are still having spikes. This is so detached from reality. Receive up to two free raid passes per day from spinning gym photo discs. Benefit from increased incense effectiveness while moving. Be guaranteed gifts while spinning Pokestops as long as you do not reach your maximum gift inventory. Receive 10x bonus XP from spinning a Pokestop for the first time. This all sounds like things that are just going to force players to then use third-party apps to fake GPS locations because there's, you know, still a pandemic. And then when they do that, I mean, they're... They're just, if they get banned, they're just going to stop playing. These bonuses will end when the season of Discovery wraps up September 1st. Some of these bonuses may roll into the following season, and new bonuses will come available as well. We'll make these bonuses available in the countries and regions as it's safe to do so. That is a lie. It's not safe to do so in the United States, and you're still doing it. We understand that every place is different. Rest assured we'll be monitoring the situation and activating appropriate bonuses when and where available. Because of this, Trainers may experience different bonuses at different times. To see which exploration bonuses are available, you check out your Today view. Bonuses introduced last year we plan to remove or change. Over the next few months, we plan to remove or change some of the bonuses introduced last year. We will not make these changes until after GoFest in July, and we will remove them first as a test in the US and New Zealand, starting at the end of July. I'm guessing saying a test is probably their way of saying um, if we're going to do it because the backlash might be so bad, it's going to be so bad that we have to do a reintrodu reintroduction after, but they're saying test. We will remove or change them on a rolling basis in other countries or regions over time, at the same time introduce new exploration bonuses. Over the past year, incense effectiveness was increased to attract Pokemon to you more frequently even if you weren't able to leave home. After the change, the effectiveness will set a standard level when you're stationary, and increased effectiveness will kick in when you're moving. That's dangerous. Previously, your buddy Pokemon brought you gifts up to five gifts a day, three times a day, because we knew trainers were running low on supplies like Pokeballs and berries to help them catch Pokemon as we moved to encourage players to move outside. 
You will continue to receive supplies from spending Pokestops. After the change, frequently gifts from Buddy Pokemon will be reduced. Yet again, dangerous. We're kind of... You have to remember, they're saying, go outside and group together. Previously, Pokestop and Gen Interaction distances were increased to enable players to engage from further away. After this change, the distance will be reverted back to the standard distance. When it makes sense in certain places, though, it may be increased during future events and as part of special certain features. It doesn't make sense to do it in the U.S. It doesn't make sense. You're literally compacting people into a smaller location. It doesn't make sense. Not everyone can get vaccinated right now. Children, not all children that are playing this game can get vaccinated right now. Remote raids have become an important part of the game this past year and we're going to continue evolving them. Our intention is to find the right balance between remote play and in-person play. So stay tuned for more details in the coming months. Many of these in-person raid changes will prepare for the eventual return of EX raids. Bonuses from last year we plan to keep. Some of the changes in the past year resonated well with trainers and provided continued values to countries we need to open act up. They remain as standard parts of the game for the foreseeable future, so this were previously announced. Instance duration will remain at 60 minutes. No walking requirement for Go Battle League. You can challenge any trader remotely with a QR code, and the requirement to battle with friends remotely has been lowered to good friends. The maximum number of gifts you can carry in your item bag will remain at 20. Trainers will be able to give up 30 gifts a day for the previous 20. You will continue to receive three times the start as an XP for your first Pokemon catch of the day. Check out Pokemon Go Live for further updates. Thank you for the path ahead and some twists and turns are committed to clearing how why Pokemon Go will evolve in the future. It's kind of sad because they, they made a lot of money. I believe it was over a billion dollars during the pandemic. And they've decided that they've made too much money. So what's going to happen is people are going to quit playing for obvious reasons. They've made the game worse. It's not actually safe. And the thing is, you have to remember with a mobile game, you quit playing for three or four days and you just stop coming back. That's a statistic. You can look it up. That's why there's daily login bonuses in games. You have to log in. So if I'm someone who lives in a more rural area and I can only play this game once a week when I go to a larger city or whatever like that or where I can make a larger trip, I'm going to stop playing. If I live in a larger city but I'm not going to be making trips because, you know, the pandemic's still real. I'm going to stop playing and they're going to notice a drop off in earnings and it's going to be quite funny that a game that's supposed to get you outside and engaged is going to lose money when people go outside and get engaged it's almost like there's a core design flaw in the game that they fixed so that people can still enjoy themselves at home all they had to do was keep the bonuses for being at home maybe lower them a tiny bit lower everything slightly and just give extra incentives to go out Shouldn't do it yet, pandemic's still going on, but that's all they had to do to keep the earning train going. And instead, I feel they're just going to destroy their own game. Then I don't understand why. And the fan reaction on Twitter is pretty much exactly the same. And people are like, yeah, you hurt the disabled, you hurt the rural people, you hurt the fans. Made a billion dollars in 2020. I guess that was too much money to keep making. 